with the center O and radius 20 millimeter, draw the generating circle. Divide the circle into some equal number of equal parts, say 12. Locate the initial position of the generating point P on the circumference of the circle. Draw a line PA tangential and equal to the circumference of the circle. Divide line PA into the same number of equal parts as a circle divided. Draw the line OO dash parallel and equal to PA which is the locus of the center of the generating circle. Erect perpendiculars at one double dash, two double dash, three double dash, four double dash, five double dash. 6 double dash, 7 double dash, 8 double dash, 9 double dash, 10 double dash, 11 double dash, 12 double dash to meet the line O hyphen O dash at O1, O2, O three, O four, O five, O six, O seven, O eight, O nine, O ten, O eleven, O twelve. Through the points one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, draw lines parallel to PA.
with O1 as center and radius equal to circle radius 20 mm, draw an arc intersecting the lines through 1 at P1. P1 is the position of the point P when the center of the generating circle moves to O1. With O2 as center and radius 20 mm, draw an arc intersecting the lines through 2 at P2. Similarly, locate the points P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11 and P12. A smooth curve passing through points P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11 and P12 is required cycloid. Locate the point M on the curve which is at 35 mm from the directing circle with radius 20 mm and M as center, draw an arc intersecting at the locus of the center O hyphen O dash at C. Through C, draw a line perpendicular to the directing line PA, meeting it at N, the point of contact of the generating circle, when its center moves to C. The line joining the points M and N is the required normal and a line TT perpendicular to it and passing through M is the tangent to the cycloid.